attracted to drama because I'm occupied with, you know, the vulnerability of the humankind. I'm always interested in what people show to the world and what they hide to the world. I'm finding those little cracks. Danes are a bit like hobbits, very humble and small, but quite stern when it comes to the point. You don't brag in Denmark, then you're being slaughtered immediately. So everything has to be in its right place to be shown to the world. And maybe that's where all the precision and simplicity comes from. I'm simply curious about human nature, I guess. All the way since I lived in a commune, hippie commune back in Denmark, back in the 70s, surrounded by people, interacting in different ways. In my childhood, I was, you know, growing up amongst genitals, right? And, and happy hippies. They would smoke in the car and I would jump around with them and I wouldn't be buckled up at any time. And somehow we survived, you know? Today, when I bring my kid to kindergarten, they're not allowed to wear gloves with, with a cord because they could get strangled in it, which there's a good reason for, I'm sure. But there's also a great deal of fearfulness in it. I'm like, listen, maybe we've taken a step too far into that. Well, I think if you look at where we are, the States, I think there's a similar amount of darkness, maybe even more, I don't know. We just talk about it. That's a different, that's a cultural difference. We like trying to define it and touch upon it in our art. I think, you know, when you say the name of the ghost, it, it disappears. It's part of our tradition. You know what, I would love to make a, a rom-com, uh, actually. You know, being a part of the gritty, painful, indie, Thing. It's not something I find really sexy <laughs> and I'm not proud to be the dark guy. I somehow just end there. <laughs> <laughs>